forwarded by Bradford. Off the stick of Dolman. And this one's sent ahead. Johnson's in the clear. Johnson in, scores! All right, everybody, once again, thank you all for tuning in. Myself along with Zach McGinnis, live from the Danbury Ice Arena as we are underway for the second meeting between these two teams. Puck already in the Danbury zone to start things up. Dina Curry, the captain of the Titans, will start back up with Schiavo at the wing. They will dump it in, and after it is Martin Unak. Puck swings back to the near side. Schiavo back behind for Unak. A swing around in front. That shot was blocked, perhaps actually rolled in on goal. St. Pierre made his first stop of the night, and Magtack will pick it up again in the neutral zone. 25 seconds left in power play time. 8.33 left to go in the first period of play as the puck deflects off a Danbury player and not out. Johnson, shot blocked there. Another attempt, Tallinn. Hands off, Johnson shot save. Another try, saved by St. Pierre. He made two of them, puck still loose. And finally, no, they can't clear the zone. Mactag, shot on goal. And a Mike Palmatier-esque save from Joe St. Pierre. 420 gone, second period, a still scoreless game. 14 seconds left in five on three hockey. Port Huron wins the faceoff. Mafuz gets it back to Robertson. Walks into the slot, hands off. Here's a shot by Whitmire, he scores. Vandekoff can't handle the errant pass. Scully taking a hit there and absorbing it well against Sabotnikov. Puck out to the neutral zone, flip back in. Nice hit by Tallinn on Henning. Maybe that'll give them a little bit of a spark. Puck played across as Graham went down. It's gonna be a penalty on the Port Huron Prowlers. Graham has it. Shot towards the goal off the Port Huron defender. Tallinn now on the far side. Vanikov is on the bench for the extra attacker. Danbury almost kept possession long enough. However, play whistled dead, and it's going to be an interference penalty. You gotta imagine it's gonna come sometime, and with this late in the second period, they need one to just try to get some momentum back, get something to build around for the third period. Unak and Harris back on the point for Danbury. Let's see if this new power play can get something going. John Schiavo took a high stick, gets the puck. In the middle, he scores! What a goal by Schiavo! Here comes Schiavo looking for two. Dancing around the defenseman but can't get it by. Buck the flex to the near side. Mac tackle looking to continue the pressure. Pass was blocked and Mafuz the other way with a little bit of room. Sabanokov coming back. Mafuz is tripped up on the play and there'll be a penalty. It's going to be a penalty shot, Tommy. Any predictions of what kind of move? I expect that he's going to deke. I think he's going to try and snap it to his forehand. Blocker side on a Vandekoff. Let's see. I anticipate a shot, but let's see here. Men Mafus coming in. Look to the forehand. He is stopped by Evandikov. Good call on the shot, Tommy. As Evandikov didn't bite on any of the stick handles, Mafus sends it off the glove of Evandikov. A big save by the Russian goaltender to keep this a one-goal game. Fort Huron maintains possession. It is Whitmire on the near side. 36 seconds left. Mafuza shot stopped by Ivanikov. Rebound to the near side. Brown scrumming away with Zach Tattern. Mafuz, one time blast, glove stop. Ivanikov with a 10 bell stop. Now Schiavo. And the near side. Men up there and taking the worst of the hit was Whitmire. Thank you, Zach. And welcome again, everybody, to tonight's broadcast live from the Danbury Ice Arena as the Titans taking on. The St. Clair Shores fighting Saints. Over 20 seconds into this contest, the puck in the St. Clair Shores zone. Coleman in there battling along with Matt Graham. And it's Graham with the puck along the hash marks, and he lost it to Kilgore. Kilgore trying to work with it. Near the far half wall, lost it there to Schiavo. Puck finds its way toward the blue line. Kept in by Junior Harris, gets a shot on goal, and Petschek makes the save, and the rebound is taken right back by St. Clair Shores, where Michael Lapari will handle it. If I Correct, I believe that is fourth in the league so far in goals this season. And I'm pretty sure he leads rookies, but here come the Titans now. Noseworthy shot was stopped, and they score on the rebound. Tyler Noseworthy a minute 19 in. Good job by Tyler Becker giving up the body there. This is only Becker's second professional hockey game after playing three years with Bridgewater State University in Massachusetts. If you think about it, Tommy, it's the first games he's ever played with a half shield on. Uh, 
Certainly an interesting way of looking at things, Zach, I gotta say. Well, you get your tooth knocked out twice like I did when I took that jump, and these things come in handy. Sometimes as a broadcaster, I need a shield. <laughs> I know that story, and Danville is a shot by Blast going wide from the near side. Opelek will send it right around for Mark Thompson, a former Danville player himself, as Blasco's shot was stopped by Nieder. May have caught his mask. Oh, I'm certainly foreshadowing tonight, aren't I? <laughs> there comes Brandon Fade. Across the blue line, holds up at the half wall. Nice pass to Brandon Contrato. Curls and drags, and a shot was stopped by Nieder. Ashik actually lost track of it as it was closing in. Sent back toward the goal. Whoopsies. Anyway, the Titans will find it back in their own zone as Sabotnikov will send it ahead. Graham coming in with it. His shot to flex up into the netting and another stoppage with 8.37 to go here in the first period. New camera guy tonight. <laughs> As you folks can tell, we're a little short staff for tonight's game due to <laughs> the snowstorm we've been mentioning a few times tonight. And among the fans that couldn't make it as well are several staff members, including our various camera crew. So we're having to do a little DIY tonight. We're missing the them. Booth. Yeah, no kidding. I hope they're watching. But we are making it work, to say the least. Zach and I have been in this league for long enough that we can pretty much handle any obstacle that's thrown our way. I've certainly seen enough. Chiavo from the near side. Graham as the Titans working in deep. Coleman a try, he scores! <laughs> Matt Coleman. Sneaking it underneath the pad of Peshek, and the Titans double up and take a 2 0 lead. Lapari. And now working from down low was Kilgore. Near side Baker. Penalty coming up. It's going to be, oh, I think it's going to be on the Fighting Saints. If I do. Uh oh. Whoa, there goes Steve Brown. Well, he'll get something for that as well. And Things getting a little crazy early here in Danbury. Not often that we see Steve Brown lose his composure like that. Now Steve Brown, despite his size, is one of the cooler customers in the Federal Hockey League, but he saw something that sent him over the edge there. Blasco battling with Dalton Jay. Gets it out of the zone and taken right back by Dominic Fate. On goal on Nieder, he will stick handle, thought about stick handling anyway. No uh, shades of Mike Smith from last night in Anaheim, good, <laughs> luckily for him. But he covers up, in case you missed it, Mike Smith in overtime tried to stick handle the puck and end up coughing up to an Anaheim player in his own crease for the game winning goal. Oh man, if only Corey Schneider and the Devils didn't have oh, something yeah. happen like along those lines. It's been an interesting year for goalies. And uh, along with Brian Wadsworth. Oh, what a stop by Peshek. Robbie knows where they're in a two on one. That was Dalton Jay going in two on one. That was a nice pass that connected, and that shot definitely getting all of it was noseworthy, looking for a second of the night, but a good stop by Peshek to keep St. Clair Shores in this game. A lot of missed shots by the St. Clair Shores fighting Saints in this game. I'd say shots in general. St. Clair Shores is out shooting, but shots on goal, they do not. And a score for the new guy, Tyler Becker. Oh, congratulations to Tyler Becker, his first professional hockey league goal. As Becker, the defenseman, jumps into the play, and as the trailer, he's wide open to send it past Peshek and give the Titans a 3-0 lead. Either way, only 15 seconds gone by off the Danbury power play, and already they're generating shots. Pretty much a mirror version of how the Fighting Saints power play has been tonight. Six opportunities, and they have done pretty much nothing. Nothing. All their opportunities, and that's gonna be something they're gonna have to focus on after this road trip concludes, they go to Watertown tomorrow to play again against the Wolves. As Harris a try in front, Chiavo can't put it home. It was behind Peshek and it would not go. Brown on one timer, he scores! A shot from downtown. What a blast by Steve Brown, who's playing his best game of the season. Oliver in a little bit of trouble, unable to hold on long enough. And Alsar just back in with a little bit of room. He shoots, it's stopped, it's behind him. Off the post, and he dirt goes on top of it to hold on. That shot was initially stopped in the roll behind him and off the post. That's how close it can get. Oh, Nick Niedert making a big save for the Danbury Titans as 
the Dashers came in with an odd man rush, and Nick Niedert had to be careful that that puck didn't sneak behind him. Good save by the veteran goaltender. Sent ahead by Lovejoy up the stick of Scully. Funuff again, coming out to handle the puck. Coughs it up to Scully, trying to draw him out. He did, but good job with the Danville defenseman. Now a lead pass for Darius Cole, looking for the first goal, and he is stopped by Niedert. And Graham falls down. We're going to get a penalty on the Dashers here. What a turn of events. Three seconds, two and one. We are now even strength. 16.45 left to go in the third period in a scoreless hockey game. Okabisa got tripped up, no call. Love. Uh, Coleman goes for a line change. Here comes Scully. Love, a shot, save, rebound, they score! Dalton Jay and the Titans strike first. Finally, the Titans are able to get on the board as Dalton Jay is left all alone on the back door. The initial save was made by Fanuf, but the rebound pops right onto Dalton Jay's stick, and he's able to bury his 15th goal of the season and give the Danbury Titans a 1-0 lead. It's the first lead that the Titans have had on Danville in three games. And what a goal to get the monkey off the back for Dalton Jay, his 15th goal of the season. And the Danbury Titans draw first blood here in the third period, just after the power plate expired. And now here comes Coleman. Coming in, that shot was stopped, short side. This puck is loose, back at the point. As Tyler Lovejoy taken down by Cole. No Big call. scrum near the near half wall. Puck stays in. Good job by Coleman. Has a little bit of rope. Coleman. Pass in front. Deflected. Knows where they scores. 2-0 Titans. Tyler Noseworthy once again. It's a rebound that Storm Fanuff leaves in a dangerous area. And Noseworthy following up on the play is able to knock it on home. His fourth goal of the season. And wisely, I think, the Danville Dashers and head coach Steve Harrison call timeout as it's all Titans here in the third period. Earlier in this game, Tommy, we spoke about how important the first goal is. How important is it that the Titans got the first two? Well, the first one definitely got Danville going, but you know what? That first, that second one put him right back down. And now they got to find something to rally around here before time runs out. And keep in mind, it can be done, because you know what? The Titans did it last night. They didn't score their first goal in their two-goal comeback until after this point of the third period. So the Titans got to stay alive here and keep that in mind as they try to defend further. That's something that the Titans have been trying to do all season long, and the fan turnouts have been getting bigger all season long. Last night they drew 1,002. Here's Turgeon for the Dashers. Nice pass. Leonardson is stopped by Nieder. What a stop there. Good shot, better save on that last play. And Tommy, you mentioned about the tight. Now Yakura back in three on two, but taken back by the Dashers. Here they come, maybe a three on three now. As Turgeon comes in, just ducking away from a hit by Love. There's a nice pass and a setup and a score for Jonathan Hall. As Taylor Love maybe should have gone for the puck instead of the body there. Well, you saw that play developing as soon as Love didn't get everything on the hip check. And then the passing lane right along the edge of the crease, tape to tape for Jonathan Hall, who's able to get the dashers on the board and back within one just about halfway through this third period of play for Jonathan Hall. It's his first goal of the season, his first as a Danville Dasher in only his fourth game played. And Scully will pick it up. We're now halfway through the third and final period of regulation. Nice pass to Graham, he's onside. Graham walks in, he is stopped by, oh no, it's in. They score. Matt Graham, who's been snake bitten, all season long, finally gets one behind Phanuf. It's 3-1. Well, Graham's not going to ask how that one went in as Phanuf 
Got a good chunk of it. You see the smile on Matt Graham's face. Finally able to get back on the scoreboard. And for the Danbury Titans, they're able to restore their two goal lead as Soren Fanuff would like to have that one back. It means that now Fanuff has given up three goals on his last five shots faced and it gives the Titans a three to one lead. One of the Titans' great veteran presence is Matt Graham's fourth goal of the season has put the Titans back up by two and I'm not surprised we're not seeing a media timeout here. Hall who currently has the Dashers goal is first of the season in four games with the Danville Dashers. MJ Miracle sends it in. That goal made it two to one for the Titans extended it a three one with Graham's goal. Harris gets hauled down and he draws a penalty on Cameron Dimmitt, he will sit for two for hooking. Yeah, Dimmitt's going to go to the box here. And the Danbury Titans now with only eight and a half to go in regulation time. They'll have a chance to put this one out of reach. He's done a good job this year, but he's definitely not had the best third period. Here come the dashes, though, shorthanded two on one. Darius Cole across, and missing, hitting the post was Turgeon. I gotta tell you, the puck luck has ever been in the favor of the Titans tonight. Delayed and a call. big hit, yep. That's gonna be a penalty. Well, first the Titans get bailed out by the post, and then right after that, they take a defensive zone penalty on the power play. And was that Uncle Beeston again? It might have been. We'll see. Let's see who the call goes against. It's Taylor, or rather, it's Tyler Noseworthy. Noseworthy who's talking to the referee, and he'll be the one who's going to sit two minutes for boarding. Oh, hopefully it's two minutes. That didn't look very good. Under six to go, Browson. Nice little pass there. Pass in front, was stopped. The hitter got the rebound, the puck was loose still. Browson's getting a talking to from a couple Titans. Four Titans to verge on him. Now things starting to get a little heated here as the Dashers' frustration is becoming well known here. Five minutes to go here. Final five of regulation. Oakland Easton is on side. Holds off Hall. Graham down low. That's a goal tonight for the Danbury Titans to put him up. The 3 1. Harris, nice pass. Scully, one timer, he scores! And Fanuff is livid. What a shot by John Scully as he roofs this one timer from the blue line and gives the Titans a three goal lead with 4.42 remaining. Well, Junior Harris is upset about something. No goal. Wow. Well, they waved it off. And they're bringing the face off all the way back down into the Danbury end. The only reason why they would do that is if they rule that it's touched with a high stick. And I'm not quite sure about that one. Well, either way, that is the decision the officials have made, and it remains 3-1. 340 left to go as a little bit of a collision behind the play by Sardis and Love. Puck still in the Danville ends. And here come the Dashers. Cole, nice pass. Sarge is trying to break away from Love. Love lost the stick, and Sarge scores. And again, the Dashers find a way to get back within one. Oh, Garrett Sargis did everything he needed to there to fend off Taylor Love. And then with the puck just a little bit seemingly out of his reach, Nick Niedert came out to play it. And Sargis was able to wrap it five hole between the legs of Niedert. And what a finish we have shaping up here with 326 remaining. It's a one goal game. And boy, that disallowed goal just minutes ago, really factoring into things here now for the Danbury Titans. Momentum starting to swing back to the Danville Dashers. The question is, do they have enough time to tie it? Trying to send it ahead. Garrett Sardis has the goal. Darius Cole, who had the, actually, he did not have the first goal, but he has an assist. I believe he assisted on both goals tonight. He has. And now here come the Dashers again. Urshon, pass to Browson. He scores! Browson ties it. Well, Nick Niedert screened on this one. And Justin Browson is able to snap one past the glove. And just like that, the Danville Dashers with two goals in under 30 seconds. And they've tied it up 
with under three minutes to play. Wow, just imagine how big of a difference that a disallowed goal would have made. Would have been 4-1, now it is 3-3. Three, three. That'll be his 20th goal of the season for Dustin Browson. Second player this year to hit the 20 mark. And we're tied at three. Sent ahead by Tesserero. Five seconds. Pass was blocked. Nakura will send it ahead. Okay, stay in the zone, but time's gonna run out here. Both sides are gonna get a point, and we are going to extra minutes. So the Dashers with a four-on-three power play for the first 29 seconds of overtime. They have Browson, Tesserero, Sardis, and Denny. The Danbury Titans have Yakura, Mactac, and Brown. Overtime records, the Dashers are three and one. And the Danbury Titans are four and one. Titans won last night in overtime by a score of three to two. And we're underway here in the overtime period. Knows where they will send it out, but it will not go far enough for an icing. And the Titans are gonna change on the fly, and so will Danville. They will now roll with Steve Brown, John Scully, and Dalton Jay. The Dashers with Anton Leonardson, Garrett Sargis, and Brad Denny will stay out a little bit longer. And he will switch out here with Alex Shapitsen. Sargis a shot miss wide near side. Here's Dalton Jay. Titans trying to get numbers here. Jay with Scully coming down the middle. Jay shot was blocked by Shapitsen. Jay following up gets the puck back. Scully. Steve Brown at the point. Shot from the blue line. He scores. Titans win. Steve Brown, the overtime winner. His seventh goal of the season. That is the best offensive season Steve Brown has had as a professional. He's got five on the power play. His first game winner as he's able to sneak a floater past the glove of Storm Phaneuf and give the Danbury Titans the victory. What a finish here at the Danbury Ice Arena. The Titans winning both overtimes this weekend. Here in Danbury, and the fans are loving it here. What a victory for the Titans. And you know, this was the weekend that they needed. After dropping two of three games last weekend, they come back, and on friendly ice, they get two wins, both in overtime. So four out of six points for the weekend, but still an effort that the Titans have to be happy with. It's another W in the column. Graham and Mactag. Now with Junior Harris, Taylor Bourne, and Mike Dolman on the power play, Sylvester Bistol, MJ Graham, Stan Vlasov, and Chris McCarthy on the penalty kill. Bourne a shot, scores! Off the setup of Graham, 1 0 Titans. Dalton Jay can't hold the zone either. Graham will flip it out. Ahead, it's a breakaway for Bistol. Sylvester Bistol, he scores! A shorthanded goal. And the Nationals have tied it up. And it is an equipment violation penalty on Sean Magtag. So the fight strap costs Magtag an extra two minutes. Now Harris coming at shorthand a breakaway. Junior Harris is in. He is stopped by Barba Jr. The rebound scores. Taylor Barb, and he got cross checked by MJ Graham afterward. A shorthanded goal by Taylor Barb, but he got. Checked from behind by MJ Graham. I don't think it was an intentional. Uh, that hurts nonetheless, but it hurts even more for the Nationals. They now trail two to one. A shorthanded goal on both sides here in this game. Nationals have it off the draw. MJ Graham, a shot was stopped. There was a screen, there's a loose puck in front. St. Marie scores. And just like that, the Nationals have tied it back up. St. Marie will get credit that it'll be his fifth goal. McCarthy with a good stick work there. Cloutier took Glaska down beyond the play, no call. And McCarthy takes someone down, and he's gonna get a penalty. As he took down Hefferin, and then Cloutier just speared. Just speared Frankie Hart in the legs. So it's gonna be a five on three. McCarthy and Cloutier both take slashing penalties. And the Titans are gonna get a two minute five on three. So they got both on the board. It'll be a five on three for two minutes. Titans with a big opportunity to take the lead back. They win the face off. It's Junior Harris. 
Cornwall penalty number eight, Chris McCarthy. Two Born. For Borden. Harris, back tack, takes the one-timer. Down low, Graham, pass it front, scores! Mike Dolman, 3-2 Titans. And another power play goal to get the Titans to lead. Oh, down the play was Heffern, back to even strength. Low with a big hit on Gilmore. Hood's gonna go after him. Will they drop the gloves? We're waiting to see. Coleman went after him, play continues for the moment. Wozniak warning both sides to stay away, but that was a big hit by Taylor Love. And he is known for those big open ice hits. Big hit there. That time it was Frankie Hart. And another hit there. That time by P.J. Heffron. Things really picking up and the crowd is into it now. We're gonna finally get a penalty here though. And it's gonna be, well it could be either side really. It looks like it's going to be the Nationals who will go to, to the penalty box. All right, Nationals player, rather. It's going to be Storm Adams. And what a sequence of great body checks by the Danbury Titans. The Nationals lost composure and take another penalty. The Titans are going to go right back on the power play. Love for Jay. Pass, nice pass. Matt Graham walks in. Graham is stopped by Borbo Jr. Who only had it on the backhand, but he draws a penalty, and it's going to be a penalty shot. For the moment, but here comes Matt Graham to make it a 4-2 hockey game, if he can score. Graham on Borbo Jr. And he scores! Penalty shot goal, Matt Graham. And it's a 4-2 game. The far side, taking back, and we're going to have a penalty, it looks like. going to be a hooking penalty and it's going to be Dalton Jay of the Danbury Titans who will sit for two of the Nationals will get a late power play with 321 to go MJ Graham faked out Mac Tack his shot was blocked big stop by Nieder as Adams was knocking on the doorstep loose puck nice block off of Vlasov by Skidalski but he's going to take a cross check and Skidalski is going to get a penalty here. So a 22 second five on three. For the Nationals, Barbo Jr. standing halfway to the blue line, waiting for the signal. Born Graham and Love out is a shot right at the face off a stop by Niedert. For the Titans, it is MJ Graham, Brock Bissonette, Sylvester Bistol, Derek St. Marie, and Storm Adams for the Nationals. St. Marie shake one wide. Borbo Jr. waiting, he will stay. And that's gonna bounce all the way in while Borbo Jr. was still in play. A five on three, shorthanded goal. And it's a hat city hat trick for Taylor Bourne. Five two Titans. The Nationals will have two nights off before taking on the Titans again. Nieder made the stop, but the Nationals get a goal. Or at least they think they do. It was on the line, didn't see it go in. Nieder has the puck. The light came on for a moment. It uh, didn't look like the puck had crossed the line from our vantage angle. Chris Cloutier discussing. And let's see. It's gonna be a goal. So now, we've had three power play goals, three shorthanded goals, and a penalty shot goal, and one five on five goal. A crazy game here from the Danbury Ice Arena, but this will do it. Five three is gonna be your final. The Danbury Titans are back in fourth place. They have a game at hand on the Prowlers. A big victory for the whole team. The Nationals with a good effort, nonetheless. The final shots on goal, 46 to 26 for the Danbury Titans. Borbo Jr. stopping 41 of 46. Nieder, 23 of 26. Out of the zone, delay offside on the Titans. Graham touches up. Graham carries, Bourne, a little time and space, and he scores! Six, James Back to Sheriff. Sabotnikov. 
And deep for Jay. Centers it. Bourne shoots it, scores! And they get the lead right back. Pass was blocked by Belger. John Scully picks up. Flips it out of the zone. Dolman working with it. Cross ice feed. Coleman near side. Coleman. Pass in front. Scully scores! Born again. Now Dalton Jay. On the backhand, to the middle. Look at this move, a backhander save, rebound, scores! Matt Graham. Out of the box is Nathan Sheriff, and he immediately joins the play. Here's Coleman. Cross ice for Belger on the backhander, scores! Rob Belger, his first pro goal. As the FHL looking to expand further, and a big jump to move south. Here's Jay for Bourne for four. He scores! Four goals for Taylor Bourne. And it's 7-1. Titans have dropped two of three so far this weekend. They'll look to get back in the winner's circle tonight after a 4 nothing loss into Watertown last evening by Taylor Love. One of the Titans tripped up. There'll be a penalty coming up. I believe it's going to be on Blazak. It will be a trip. Justin Blazak will go as Frankie Hart was the man tripped up in front of the Watertown bench. First power play of the night for the Danbury Titans. Ask Graham. Here comes Wilkinson. Heads off for Graham. Trying to send it toward the goal. Ends up in the end zone area. Nice pass. Inman with Romy scores. Power play goal, Titans lead 1-0. Dalton J, now Skidowski. What was getting the fourth check going here? Bourne will send it out of the zone. Dalton J trying to race up. He's in all alone. Here's Dalton J, he scores! ahead and Kirkwood will take it back from his own blue line. Kirkwood. As it looks like we're gonna have a fight. Mike Dolan. Jeremy Akerson. Does he have the glove on again still? He still has his right glove on. He did this last night and now he's gonna do it again. And I can assure you that that is not allowed. Jeremy Akerson fighting with his right glove on. I understand he's got a right hand, but if you can't take your glove off, don't fight. And the linesman will break this up without much damage done. And now Akerson's gonna point to Dave Lund. And they have a conversation about it. Look at this. Akerson is right near the bench. Dave Lunn is there. L officials have to get in here. Officials have to break this up. This has gotten out of hand. Luckily, one of Danbury's finest is there to keep things separate. Now, both teams having a conversation about it. And the bench now, Phil Esposito and Dave Lunn having a conversation now as well. Dave Lunn, who played under Esposito for a couple years. Well, like we said, things change very quickly between these two teams. But Jeremy Akerson actually did make it partially on the Titans bench. And we'll have to see if the league does anything about this. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you're not just tuning in because you missed some fireworks in the first period if you did. Well, the Titans will start with a five on three for a minute 35 until Liscombe's penalty expires. And then they'll have another 22 seconds of five on four time following if they do not score on the first, power, uh, first penalty. 
And if there are no further penalties, which at this at this point, it's time to throw out the buck at this point about any for future penalties. There's going to be future penalties at this point, let's face it. Skelly down low. Walks, shoots, scores! Five on three goal. Three nothing Titans. On goal. May have got a piece of Vandekov. It's out of the zone now. Kirkwood lost it. Graham in. Dolman scores. Excuse me, Bourne. Taylor Bourne. Four nothing. Off a turnover by Kirkwood, we're going to get a goaltending change. Danila Listratov with four goals, allowed on 14 shots. In goes Chris Paulin. This will be his second appearance. Played one period for the Wolves. So far this year, he has 11 shots against and 11 saves. Whittle carries, dumps in from the blue line. Halas after it, far side. Out there by Love. Those two do battle. Now, let's see here. Halas and Love. Well, they go. Halas gives Love a shot. It's going to be a penalty on Halas. Now, Dalton Jay having words with Halas. I don't think we'll see those two go. Now, everybody's going to meet up. Titans got to be careful. They got seven men on the ice. Not counting the goaltender. Halas wants Love. Those were the two that mixed it up earlier in the sequence. And now Akison has words for love. Dolman. Wilkinson. Deflected on goal, Say Paulin. Not a bad first stop for the Watertown goaltender. Nice play by Gallo. Good to see him back. Hearts, low room. Pass across and he scores. Bounced it off Whittle, I believe. It'll be Frankie Hart's goal, and it's 5-0 Titans. This is a game that the Titans have been needing to respond in, as Evanikov got rid of two by Halas. Halas just took out the goaltender. Evanikov after, here comes Chris Paulin. Paulin drops the stick. They're going to go. Nikita Vanikov and Chris Paulin at center ice. Vanikov with a takedown. Well, you had the feeling that something was going to happen. A loss runs Vanikov and Vanikov responds. Well, we got our first goaltender bout of the year here in Danbury. That's the third one in the league this year. After Borbo Jr. fought for Berlin. Rather, for Cornwall against Matt Kaloudis of Berlin. And then earlier in the season, Joe St. Pierre for Port Huron against Jan Petschek of the St. Clair Shores Fighting Saints. So the only team that hasn't had a goaltender in a fight this year is Danville. No shocker there. Well, this is going to take some time to sift through. Well, we're going to take a break. We'll be back. 12.33 left to go. Second period of play. 5-0 Danbury is your score. It's one of two goaltenders that has played in each of the past seven seasons of FHL hockey. Only Joe St. Pierre can match that. Nick Peter, who has played for 30 professional teams in his 14 years, I believe, 13 or 14 years that he's been playing pro now. He has seen a lot, he's done a lot, he's been through a lot. So Niedert's in goal, and now here's Coleman for the Titans. Coleman, pick hard, he scores! Graham Picard! Has made it 6-0. 
Titans with numbers. Coleman is stopped by Paul and his Jay went to the Nets. Buck still free. Scott Roy just got somebody and a hit from behind. That's the last thing we needed. Scott Roy is going to go for boarding. As he just took liberties on Matt Graham. To the vicinity. Taylor Bourne will hand it off. Here comes Frankie Hartz. Across the line. Nice pass. Board scores. Seven nothing. I don't know if it will count as a power play goal, but it's Bourne's second of the game. Now Belger collides with Roy. I may have spoken too soon here. Halas and Belger meet up. Now they're getting shots. Halas is punching away at Belger. And now they're in the bench. And then he just hit him with his own helmet. So Halas ran Avandikov earlier, now he runs Belger. And he's hitting him while he's down. Well, I guess the hockey gods just had to correct me. Just when it seems that all had calmed down, we get another scrap, and it's Halas and Belger. Welcome back, everybody, to a very eventful and action-packed contest between the Danbury Titans and the Watertown Wolves. Danbury is up by a touchdown. It is 7-0. And, well, it's safe to say this game is just about in hand, but still 20 minutes left to play. Whittle tried to go after Wilkinson and missed. Dolman with a little room. Backhander just wide. That, I believe, was Matt Graham. Skidalski, plenty of time. He scores! How about another first pro goal? This time it's Craig Skidalski. And it's 8-0 Danbury. Scully for Dolman. Two on one with Dalton Jay. Dolman for Jay. He scores. And that is Jay's second goal of the night. And it's 9-1. Will not be 10, but it'll be a 9-1 victory. And that's gonna do it. Big win for the Titans. Tough loss for the Wolves. And in the end, peace will reign. Schiavo with Jay. Shovel the nice move there. Tries to go to the net. A nice stick play there. But it's going to be a penalty on David Branchek for hooky. And the Titans are going to go right back onto the power play with 5.33 to go. Coming in with it. Setting one toward the goal. Nice block again by Fuller. Really doing a very good job of holding the middle so far. Keeping the shots on the outside. Harris across. They score. Taylor Board. Wilkinson and Sinek collide. Penalty is coming up. It's going to be on Danbury. And it's going to be on Wilkinson for a high stick. High sticks abound here in the first period. I believe that's the fourth high sticking penalty combined so far in the game. And the penalty boxes are filling up here early. So 319 left to go. We haven't even been announced. The initial penalties. So now it's a four on three for the River Drivers. But also puts them up, so it's a five on three for Berlin for another minute 12. There'll be another four, 16 seconds of power play time afterwards. Salak. Sends it around for Cabana. Yuri Pastuka. Last off. Pass it across and a goal for Cabana. Evo Cabana ties the game up on a five on three goal. 
And the fans here from Berlin loving it. Attention Titans fans, please do not throw any items at all on the ice, even Skittles. Titans fans, please do not Well, we just found out what's been thrown on the ice. It could result in a penalty for the home team. Turns out someone's eating Skittles and eating them quite irresponsibly. So there's a couple of them now fall off the, falling out of the stands on the far side and now a warning issued to the fans that a delay of game penalty could end up in cost. Turnover to Pastuka, shot stopped by Bowden, nice stop by the Danbury netminder. The face off won by Danbury. Belcher takes a whack there to the ankle from John Selly and draws a penalty. So John Selly's gonna get a slashing penalty here, it's a delay penalty. Skidalski at the board. Here comes Dalton Jay, extra man on a Scully. Jay shot off a Berlin stick and wide and touched up by Branchag. So it's going to be a slashing penalty. John Selly will go to the box. Scully, Efren, Coleman, cross for Jay. Tease one up, save, rebound, scores. John Scully, they're going to drop the gloves right after he scored the goal. Scully and Vlasov. Both going with the rights in the slot. Vlasov loses his helmet. So, Vlasov going with a couple that does not connect. They're gonna break this up. So, John Skelly in one second already has two thirds of the Gordie Howe hat trick. He gets the goal, he gets the fight. And the Titans have the lead. Chiavo, as actually it's P.J. Hafner who gets credit for the goal as he sends this one out of play. Coleman and Jay get the assist. P.J. Hafner with his fourth goal of the season instead of John Scully. Titans win the face off. And sitting around the near side was Wilkinson, Chiavo and Wright. A couple shots of one another, they separate. Five seconds left as Fuller has it. He'll hold on to it, we'll send up the boards. Harris from neutral zone territory, last second, shoots it, but it's too late. That's gonna do it for 20 minutes of play, or excuse me, 40 minutes of play. Only goal of the period as, look out here, right at Chiavo as the benches have emptied. And now the gloves have dropped, and this is a bad situation here because the benches have emptied, except for one player on each side, and now Skidalski's even gonna look about leaving the, leaving the bench. At least for now, things are staying civil. We just had the one fight. The referees have ordered the players to get back in the penalty boxes. Nick Wright was the one who engaged in it and Chiavo was the one he was going with. They had met up earlier in the play and quite possibly we could see a game misconduct at the least out of this for Nick Wright. As it gives the old belt champ uh, taunts to the Amber crowd. He's not the size of Ty Domi, but he's got his uh, trick bag, that's for sure. So Schiavo was the partner in that. So it looks like those are the only two that dropped the gloves. Thank goodness, that had the potential to get nasty in a hurry. As we nearly had our first bench clean brawl of the year. Left in the four on four, it's Taylor Bourne. Back to Wilkinson. Five seconds left. Oh, a big hit, Wilkinson just barely dipped away, and they score at the other end, it's Dalton Jay. As everybody was paying attention to the attempted hit by Zemlichka, that just barely got missed as he went up and over. Ryan Wilkinson, Jay just came all the way back down and Barry won over Matt Kalotis. Now the question is, when the goal was scored, because this was right as the penalty to Steve Inman was expiring. So now the question is if there's still a power play out of this. Berlin getting desperate now to try to get back within one. It's a lock against Hart. Draws a penalty, it'll be on the Titans. 
Cabana can't bring it in the first time. Travis, Tyler Howe, excuse me, enters with a minute left in the power play. Sabotnikov around, Cabana can't control it. Ranchek from the point, shoots one deflected in. And I believe it'll be Tyler Howe. As Bowden had no chance on that shot. At 16.30, and it's a 3-2 hockey game. Warren blows a tire. River drivers come up with it. Salak walks, gets to the nets. Stopped by Bowden as he got it between the legs. And definitely a bunch that know how to work their craft. Here is Schiavo. Carries it, Dalton Jay deflection. Nice stop by Kalotis, a game stop. Selly is the trigger man up high. Titans win the faceoff. It goes to the boards. Kept in. Ranchek sends one to the corner. Three seconds, two and one. And the Titans win it. <laughs> three two is your final. The Danbury Titans with a big three points. They will jump into second place over the Berlin River drivers. And look at this. It's nice to see the. Berlin River drivers will stay on the ice to salute a hearty bunch of fans that came out to support their team all the way from New Hampshire. And it should be a pretty close score. These are two teams that have battled well throughout the year. This is the ninth meeting of the season between Danville and Danbury. The Titans have won three, and Danville has won five. This is the closest series of any of the season that Danville has played, pretty much all the other series against the other teams this year have been complete blowouts in Danville's favor. No other team has gotten more than two wins against Danville this year. Big playoff implications on the line for the Danbury Titans tonight. They can clinch a playoff spot tonight. Titans have it, it's Belger. Skidalski. Dash is doing a good job on the four checking so far. Dalton Jay working from the red line, gets it to Bourne, maybe a two on one. Bourne a shot, save, Grimm scores on the rebound. Matt Graham as the number one line connects again. one nothing. Titans. Dash has regained. Up the full head of steam is Darius Cole. Coming up through the middle, backhander off the glove, and a big hit there by Harris on Cole. That's the third big hit of the night already by Harris. 49.2 seconds, Titans win the faceoff. Belcher can't hold on to it. Breakaway for Garrett Sargis to tie the game. Sargis fans on the shot, got it, holds on. A lucky break for the Danbury Titans as Sargis was going for the shot and he whiffed on it. We'll flip it in. Graham after it against Oliver. Puck chips to the far boards. Scully takes a hard hit up high. That was Garrett Sargis who got him up high. No call on the play and Scully is hurt but gets back to the bench. Darius Cole turns with 10 seconds, waits, shoots it wide, rebound far side, Turgeon can't shoot it. Five seconds left, pass in front, no shot, but they do score! With 2.7 seconds left, it's tied up, and one aside. And the call is no goal. And a double minor up on the board against Cameron Demet. He was the one, not the one actually, that hit. Scully, it was actually Garrett Sargis. So clock runs out. The Titans have a 357 power play to start the second period. Sansa toward the net just wide. Dolman there to work it. Wilkins in near side. Harris one tease and it scores. Wilkinson be chased out from behind the net by Tessarero. They get the puck through neutral territory. Graham up ahead. May have an opening. Great save to Cristofaro. As he get a, got it with the toe of the pad. Give to Cristofaro credit for keeping it a two-goal game as the Danbury Titans have had multiple great opportunities. Puck is loose in the crease. Blaska gets to it. Coleman. Titans buzzing here. That shot deflects just wide. Not sure if Hart got a piece of it. 
Junior Harris, loose puck, side of the net. Loose puck, cooled in. Stop by the Cristofaro with another great stop. By the Danville net miner. Titans are throwing everything but the kitchen sink at the Cristofaro and he's able to stop it all. And their goalie was out and made a great play. Now here comes Graham, maybe two on one with Blaska. Graham for Blaska. He is stopped by the Cristofaro. What a stop as he got across with the pad. The Cristofaro putting on a goaltender clinic. Here in the second period, it's Bowden making the blocker stop. Holds up along the far half wall. Sends it in deep. Turgeon after it. Bourne shadows him. Makes his way back towards the blue line. Hands it off again. And another hand off to Harrison. Pass across. Turgeon scores. A perfect setup by the Dashers. And a great finish to cut the lead in half. As the Dashers work the 1 2 2. And they get possession, neutral territory. It's Sargis coming in with Harrison. Harrison walks to the net. He scores. And we're tied back up. Andrew Harrison has made it 2 to 2. Graham. Thompson and Sargis get the assist. On Harrison's eighth goal of the season, puck rolls in on goal. Bourne looking, he scores! <laughs> Titans win the draw. Harris has it, he'll hold on, and that's going to do it. The number two Danbury Titans have defeated the number one Danville Dashers.